Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Cassie. I play like trash. It's so good to see you guys. I really wanted to play some Cozy Grove. Um, this is not a new game. I believe it's a two-year-old game, but I've never played it before. Um, so I'm super excited to get into it. I hope you're all doing well. I see Leos in chat. Hi, Leos. It's so good to see you. Um, you have a temperature, so you're not sure how long you'll be able to stay. Your eyes are closing on you. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. You probably need some rest. But thank you for being here. I got started um, later than usual, so I'm sorry about that. I um, had a busy day, but it was a good day. Okay. So... How do I... I don't want that. No? Oh, I get it. That's the DLC. Got it. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Cute. Let me check the audio one second. Okay. I'm excited to play this. <clears throat> so this game, just so everyone knows, is rated E, 10 and up. So it's rated for everyone age 10 and older. Just so you know. Um, and let me see if I can look up a little bit about it for those that don't know. Um, it's absolutely fine. Glad you had a good day. I've never played this game before, right? Me either. Okay. So, a little about this game. Welcome to Cozy Grove, a life sim game about camping on a haunted, ever-changing island as a spirit scout. You'll wander the island's forest each day, finding new hidden secrets and help soothe the local ghosts. With a little time and a lot of crafting, you'll bring color and joy back to Cozy Grove. Cute. I'm excited. All right. So we'll see. And let me know. I can play around with the audio in this game. Um, to make sure that it's a, it's a better viewing experience. So just let me know. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. If I can turn it up. On my end. Here we go. <clears throat> Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. When a spirit scout comes of age, they start to become more than the labels they've lived within. Okay. All right. Right, I do too. I love the art style. It's so cute. Uh, yes, this one. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty pretty pale. Um, ghost blue, ocean blue, I have, oh, cloudier silver. I'm probably a mix with ghost blue and cloudy silver. <clears throat> Do ghost blue. Um... <laughs> Cute. Are you really self? That's awesome. Good job. Self's working on some homework behind me. She's here. Self says hi, chat. I like that. That hair is so cute. Yeah, I like 
like that one. Okay. Looking good. Oh, Leo says, hello, Sophie. <laughs> <clears throat> now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, dear spirit scout. She is well. She is having a great day. Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto, all those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay. This is cute. Okay, there's the fire. <clears throat> Everyone's live at the same time. I did not realize. Hello, though. Good to see you, Phoenix. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> uh, how old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. Um, a haunted bear infested island. Some place called Cozy Grove. I'm a little disoriented. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Oh well, if you weren't sent here... The scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. <clears throat> Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Very ready. That's the spirit. <clears throat> I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Oh. I'm gonna have to go, feeling really sick. Oh, don't be sorry, Leos. Get some rest. I hope you feel better. So sorry you're feeling so sick. Okay. Oh, look at my little character. What am I? Am I like dancing? Or is that more of a sway? <laughs> it's cute. <clears throat> All right. I guess I go up here. Oh. a spirit or a ghost oh charlotte pine another imaginary camper thank you leos must have brewed my lady gray a little strong this morning unless say you're not a real living person are you <clears throat> i am well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. But I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woes. That sounds like classic spirit scout propaganda. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Oh. 
It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though. Is there... Oh. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. Oh, sad. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the rule. The first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for the both of us. Okay. Drop spirit wood into the fire. What's that? Mound of dirt, a mound of disturbed earth, diggable with a shovel. Maybe if you had a shovel. Oh. Oh. Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Something is mysterious about the wood. Give this to Flamey to expand the island. Spirit wood. <clears throat> this is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Uh. First of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunted or the haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, the spirit wood has finally caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of us useful things. What? See, that's nice. That's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire sure to call some distant campers home. Oh. Oh. Oh, cute. Awesome. Good job, Soph. It's old coins. <coughs> Are you talking to me? Okay. Oh, there's another one. All right, well. What would you like to do? Silent is very haunted. Glad a spirit scout like yourself showed up. How do I give him hearts? Oh, got another coin. Oh. <clears throat> this little buddy <laughs> so they're all little bears oh, I guess you can see me so sorry I figured I'd be invisible for haunting a perfectly good island the last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemly. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. It was near three skulls tied to stakes. Oh, 
here we go. There's one. Here we go. Okay, now we have three. Look at these sticks, what beauties. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws kept slipping through the, the lathe, I think. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits? I've helped this poor scout, my haunting is complete. Still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Cute. What are these little buddies? Okay, he wants me to go over here. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kid has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. <clears throat> the fire seems brighter now. You're rank three. You've earned a new badge. I did? How did I... Oh. Minus. Oh. Oh. What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles? <laughs> try digging yourself or try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Oh. It was close to a giant clamshell buried under a leaf pile. Oh. What do I do with it? Oh, we're gonna dig this up. Take 
Wasser. Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. <clears throat> I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch, I set the prices. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. Ooh! I've got 44 coins, I want that. <clears throat> okay. Oh my goodness, what are all these little buddies? Oh. Wait. It was close to a giant clamshell <clears throat> under a leaf pile. <clears throat> How did I... Oh, right here. I just need to clear my throat, drink a little water. All right, I saw, oh. I saw a leaf pile around here. Ooh. Oh. I don't think that was what I needed. Uh oh That thing is Oh, here's a leaf pile. Harvest. Okay. It was over here. The rock looks like it might contain valuable ore. Oh, I need a pickaxe. Okay.
All right, well. Not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, Captain Billweather Snout. In life, I was a bear of the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twix the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And now I am transformed. A vast young person. Oh, Shay! Hello! Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. That pushes us a little closer to our goal. Now we're at 176. Thank you! And welcome! I hope you're having a good day. How long have ye been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Billweather Snow, though some call me the Seagull Bear. Pleased to meet you! I don't know as we've reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common, except, of course, for the love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show, show you what's on the menu. <sighs> Got a fishing rod. That will do. That will do nicely. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Oh my gosh, cute. Story advanced. Okay. Uh, let me go fishing. I'll go fishing. This gives me... um some Animal Crossing vibes. Alright. Let's see, how do I do this? Oh, okay. Then throw is ZR. Oh. Oh, wait until the fish bite hard and is hooked before reeling it in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Reel it in. Did I get it? I don't know if I got him. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, I don't think I got him. Did it wrong, I think. Oh, I see, I see. Whoa. Do I hold A down? Oh, I do. I hold it down. Got it. Cute. Yeah, collapsed lungfish. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um. Not too far. There you go, little buddy. So, similar to Animal Crossing, as soon as the bobber's pulled under, then you hold A down. I don't think- I actually don't think you hold it down in Animal Crossing, I think you just push it. Yeah, Mudsucker. Okay. Cute. 
I love the art style so much. This game is adorable. Hey. Hey, no, come back. You were right here. Yeah, get it. Get it, get it. Ooh. Ugly loach. Okay. It's cute. This is super, super cute. Look at that. Threw it right to you, bud. Adorable. Okay. Oh. I barely threw that out. Mud sucker. Okay. You have earned a new badge. Ooh. little spirit scout badge. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you've caught, you've got, or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. <clears throat> yeah. A fine fin... You've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think he and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea. My boat did what? <laughs> oh yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's... Neptune's bosom? Don't blame yourself... This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors, Squawk. Oh. Cute. Okay. Sure. Oh my gosh, thanks. Isn't she adorable? My little spirit scout? Yeah. Here's a log. Delicious. That's strange. I'm still hungry. Hi, Owen. Good to see you. How are you? I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. Okay. Yeah, what... Am I supposed to help this guy? Let's see. Uh... If I put that away... Wilderness Guide. It was close to a giant clamshell buried under a leaf pile. A giant clamshell. So I need to find it. Oh! 
I'm doing great, Owen. How are you doing? Under a leaf pile. Alright, we're picking these little guys up. I guess. doing good I'm so glad he is it Sweet potato. Okay. All right. What does this do? Tool finder. Okay. I follow him? I can sell you a hint for a hundred old coins. <gasps> no. No. I wanna I wanna keep my coins. I can I can do this. Got it. Okay. Let's go give it to him. We almost spent a hundred coins. No way. No way. Okay. Give to Charlotte Pine. Yes. Select. That's it. Why, it's an old spirit scout wilderness guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look 
at the Memento collection book now? Sure. He's so cute. That's the spirit. Here it is. Okay, so we found three spirits out of 17 so far. Cool. A kindly ranger bear, a self-appointed caretaker of Cozy Grove. Oh, so there's six. Okay, so there's six spirits in the forest, and then there's two on the shoreline. Okay. <clears throat> Jeremy Gruffle, an apologetic maker bear, the island's foremost craftsman. Captain Billweather Snout, an ornery, ornery, an ornery seagull bear, still haunted by his past mistakes. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you find their memories. <clears throat> Cute. Okay, I see. That's adorable. I thank you. I thank you kindly. All right. Now let's go. Ooh, I want to dig in there. There you go. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> uh, what would you like to do? Here's a log. <laughs> oh, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears, guide them through remembering themselves, eventually they will find peace. My light shines further, Illum illuminates lost corners in time. <laughs> I see another figure absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Okay. The fire seems brighter. You're now scout rank four. Okay, cute. All right, let's see. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Now what? Uh, now let's go this way. What? Oh, we talked to him again? Okay. Hey, bud. Can I help you with something? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Okay, wait. Buy it from Mr. Kit's store. Okay. Oh, I need 250 old coins. Can't afford that. Oh. Um. <clears throat> we could do... One fruit? Okay. Okay, so now let's go. Oh, wait. Did I buy it? Whip. 
I need to buy it. Okay. Here we go. Here you go, buddy. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Okay. There's a log. Only four more logs until I'm full. I sense at least five logs out there, maybe close, maybe far. Oh, okay. Uh... You have earned a new badge. Okay. Oh, you can pet it? Oh, cute! Oh. The creature seems to like you. What would you like to name it? Oh my gosh, stop it. Uh. More. Duke Cleo Snowball Captain. <laughs> uh. Papa Bucky Bok Bok Buttercup. Oh, Lottie is cute. All right. That's adorable. Okay. Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First though, I'm going to need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Oh, I've got those, okay. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered. And I bet you're wondering what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to fix and build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know. Oops. Whoops. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Ooh, I want to make something. Cute! Great, let me show you to my workshop. Oh my goodness. Maker Bear's Workshop. Okay. So you need 10 softwood to make hardwood? You need 10 branches to make softwood. You need 5 quartz gemstones to make a semi-precious gem. Okay. Gold ingot is 10 silver ingots. A silver ingot is 20 iron ingots, okay. Normal skipping stone, five iron ingots, ten normal skipping stones make a pro skipping stone, five pro skipping stones make an elite skipping stone, common log cabin chair, is four branches, common log cabin table is eight branches, common log cabin planter, 
charred fish bone. How do you get that? Common log cabin fence. Common log cabin. Wait, are these the same thing? A matching fence post with others of this type. Oh. All right. We can make a common log cabin chair. We can make a semi-precious gem. Let's make that. Oh my gosh, cute. Crafted. Boom. Okay. What? Story advanced. Alright, adorable. Then let's go... Ooh, and we can learn those recipes. Okay. Here's a log. There you go. There you go. Only three more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you. If you can help them. I would love to help them. I don't know. Oh. Wait. Oh. I'm confused. Oh, gotcha. Alright, so that's it then? Well, there's more though. Wait. Badges. Oh, I see. So I did one out of 28 of these. Cute. I gotcha. Bare necessities beginner. Cute. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah. All right. Adorable. I think that bird is thinking about a donut. Can we get him a donut? Get that for him? Oh, don't be scared. A chill wind blows ashore. Oh, ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat. Might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Go exploring. Look for... Look by a tarp. Uh. Oh. Oh, never mind. There's a new buddy. Patrice Fur Furbach? The postal bear. At your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured it'd be, I'd be in it for life. And I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boos boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office. 
at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residents. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the, what is that, psychic plane? They just showed up wherever and whenever they wanted to. I run patrol this mor or I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals. But I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Oh my gosh, cute. It was near the workshop behind something. Okay. Oh. Here's one. Oh, it keeps it like gets stuck. The game freezes up for just a second. Oh, whoa. Oh. Found some stuff. Some goodies. Harvest. Harvest? Oh, I don't have a... Okay. I need a pickaxe or something. Oh! Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, there's a package. Ada Reaper, hello! Good to see you! How are you? Perfect! Let's go give it back. Let's go give him the package. What? Here we go. Select that. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Let me s be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal helper to help me with the USDs. How exciting! Oh, yes, the thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, a.k.a. USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in... Aramaic? 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 Or spewing demon fire, well... You just send that puppy my way. Okay. <laughs> because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, this is a Cozy Grove stream. And that's the name of the game. It's adorable. We help... Um, we're, we are a spirit scout and we help these spirit bears with whatever they need. It's really cute and I love the art style, but I've never played it before today. Um, oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Cheerio, scout. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. 
I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost trying to help it make peace with itself, and when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll try to write to you every day unless I get busy. One common log, cabin, small potted plant. Okay. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. Wait, did I, did I just read all that? I did. I just read it again. Sorry. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you could see how it works. I've also included a little thank you gift for your help. Postal bear. Okay. Cute. Cute. Adorable. Is this something important? No? Maybe now? Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. Can I help you with something? Heads up, postal helper. Looks like another past mark delivery incoming. When you're alive, letters arrive at the postal off or at the post office a few days after they're sent. But ghost letters, they don't run on regular time, and they're likely to show up at a non-standard address, like in leaf piles or behind rocks. So if you find any letters out there, please bring them by the office. It was close to a giant clamshell behind something. Okay. <clears throat> oh. So now we've got three feathers. We need two more. Oh. It's a log. Yum. Only two more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. No, no. Okay. It looks like he's thinking about donuts. Can we find him a donut? I think that would make him so happy. Oh! Hey! We found one. We need to find two more. Hmm. 
Okay, I don't think that's anything... Anything important. Oh! A letter. Oh, and a feather. Alright, we just need one more feather and one more letter. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so school just called um, with an automated message. Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, Mills. Hey, Mills. It's so weird it, how it gets stuck like that for a second. Hey, Mills. Up here. Go up there? Maybe we can't. Hmm. Are you gonna show me where something is? Please? Right here? What are you talking about? Give me a clue! Does he not give clues? I thought he does. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I just noticed on the right how it shows how far along you are. Okay. On the quest. hiding here. Okay, we found the feathers. That's good. Yeah. 
Quack, that's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly. Far neighborly. You might find some of what stock, some of what put stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove. But it doesn't mean much to us birds, still I thank you. With these bits of fluff pad in my coat, the wind's bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot refeather your wings. Mm. Okay. Cute. Oh, his little stretch. All right. Oh. The game will get stuck for a second. It's so weird. Oh. A letter. Okay, we found all three letters. So let's give him this log. There's a log. Delicious. Just one final log and I'll be full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. I think... It was up here. Is it? Yeah. This little buddy. Let's give him these. Hey, you found some loose letters. A thank you card for Jeremy. Lawsuit notice for Clyde. Bills for my wife, Anja. And here's one for me. Aw, threat of disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws. Oh! <laughs> Standard stuff. I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place. And hey, check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you. Ooh. All right. Oh, I did some stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops, no. This one. Okay. All right, those are caught up. <clears throat> well. <gasps> so many coins. Here's a log. <gasps> I'm getting hungrier for more spirit wood each time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. How can that be when there are still so many needy shadows hiding in Cozy Grove? I can feel at least 13 more lost souls waiting to be helped. Wait, I see someone standing in a forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps that's just an oddly shaped tree. The fire seems brighter. You're now scout rank five. You've earned a new badge, log burner, intermediate. Is there another little buddy somewhere? Oh, can we light this? No. Oh, he needs some assistance. Can I help you with something? You're well on your way to being completely oriented, Scout. I hear you've been, you've even been helping out other ghosts on the island. That's a nice thing for a spirit scout to do. Hey, since you're out there searching for missing things, you haven't seen my tea mug, have you? 
tea mug, and five tea pastries. Okay. <clears throat> this is cute. This is so relaxing. You're just walking around helping out these bears. Hello again, Maker Buddy. I've been thinking about you stuck here on Cozy Grove. You and I were sort of in the same pickle barrel, aren't we? I must have gotten the saying wrong. Stick to woodworking and leave clever sayings to the professionals. That's what my mom always said. All I mean is, neither, of one, neither one of us knows what we're doing here, do we? But I can help you dig a little deeper into this mystery. With five branches and one piece of softwood, I think I can do just that. Okay. Oh, got that. You found all five branches and one piece of softwood too? That's great, I was worried I'd ask too much of you. Here you go, your very first pickaxe. Ooh, now we can hit that rock. It's a little flimsy, but it should let you dig right into the rock of the island. And while digging, if you happen to find any answers about why I'm doomed to haunt this place, well, I wouldn't mind knowing is all. <clears throat> all right. Okay. There's the rock. Harvest. Cute. Two normal skipping stones, one iron ore, it looked like it said. Try skipping stones towards clams in the water. Okay, if we... How do I do this? Back? Hold. Sure. Oh! Tea pastry. Uh, I'm not quite sure I understand. did that right <laughs> probably did it it's all right it's all right yeah what do you need that ill wind is back <laughs> I've been stuffing feathers in my coat all morning to no avail if I can't get warmth from some quarter soon I'll have to give up my dramatic seaward posture I wonder if he could help by the merchant of mischief, trickster of terra firma, my constant tormentor, Mr. Kit. <clears throat> Some say he sells wares what can cure a captain of his shivers. But perhaps those are just fishermen's tales. Okay. Buy it from Mr. Kit's store. Okay. Just gonna check all this out real quick. Oh, here we go. There's a little pastry. Oh, there's another one. Here we go.
Okay. What are those little spirit buddies? Francesca Duclaw? Who dares? Who dares disturb the forest? <laughs> Just a spirit scout? I mean, no harm. A spirit scout? Really? So someone's finally come to clean up our mess? I thought you were just an imp, back to torment me as usual. It's been a while since we've had a living, breathing creature in these woods. For decades, it's just been me and my fellow trees. They're just full of thoughts and opinions. Emerson Carson. Cacao? Cow cow? Thoru? Or Toru? Say hello to our guests. They must be feeling shy. Of course, I'm a little different from your typical tree, I'm sure you've noticed. It's my embarrassing lack of leaves. The imps plucked them off me years ago and scattered them across the island. Would you mind finding my leaves for me? I heard it was close by a dead tree with a bird's nest. Oh, I remember seeing that. What? What? Do you already need something? Oh, all right, let's see. Oh, there's a treat. Oh, I want that. Here. Here we go. So are they all by this area? So we just need one more pastry. Uh-oh. Thought I was stuck. Oh, my backpack is full? Oh, shucks. Okay. Almost helped him.
We're sleeping. Well, there's an umbrella in there. Goodness. All right. Um, Shucks. Look out, little buddies. Oh, yeah, my backpack. All right. Shucks. Oh, goodness. What? 
Okay. Now we can go chat with him. Help him out. It's so nice to see my mug again. I think I lost it yesterday. Give me ghost give my ghostly condition. It's hard for me to be sure. A ghost existence is a little confusing, you see. Our sense of the here and now is all mixed up with our memories of our past lives. Objects from the past tend to appear and disappear as we think about them. So this here, it might be my old ranger's mug. Or it might be my memory of a mug. A memory of a mug made solid by energy from the beyond. Sip. Either way, it's tea is hot and tasty. All right. Nifty. Oh, no, no. Give him pets, little pets. Okay. Here's a log. Only six more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you. Yeah, I've got to... Gotta find more leaves. Whoa. Nice. Still searching? What I need is out of somewhere. What I need is out there somewhere. Check your quest log for a hint. Or if you're really stuck, go to Charlotte Pine and get directions. Quest log? Oh, nope, that's my backpack. There were many, many imps. I think one of them gave me the evil eye. What? Jeez. Uh. Oh, goodness. There, is it? No. Huh. We're looking for a couple more of these leaves. I sort of remember where I saw one. I was near a fallen log. 
near a fallen log. Ooh. Oh, the hint changes. I did not realize. That is helpful. Oh, see his little angry face? What in the world? Look at all these little buddies. Aha, those are the leaves I was looking for. Thank you. I can't seem to reattach them. I can't even find the branches they came from. Wordsworth, Frost, any thoughts on the matter? Typical. Most of the time, these trees won't stop wrestling. But as soon as I need their opinion, then silence is golden. Cute. Oh my gosh, cute. I want to get all my coins. Um, I want to buy this. No. Alright, I want to give this to the bear on the beach. The seagull bear. Here you go, bud. Wait, I bought it. Sea Captain Sweater? Isn't that just what I bought? Hold on. What'd I buy then? Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I not buy that? Alright, wait a minute. Let's learn it. Common wicker stool. Cute. We need to free up a little bit of space here. Oh, no, 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 no. Nursery plant stall. Cute. Throw item? Oh no! Go. And then... Learn. There we go. It's like, what am I doing? <laughs> Cute. All right. Okay, so I need to buy him a captain's coat, I think. Want to buy clothes? Sea Captain sweater. Okay, must have done something wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Let's give him his sweater.
So the rumors were true. If that fox sells wares as fine as these, I'll permit him to haunt the dry docks for now. Yes, indeed. The chill is fading already. This is a wing warmer of the finest quality. I think I'll add it to my cabinet of the mind. Why, every explorer worth their salt has a cabinet of the mind. Though some of the less lyrical among them might call it an item collection. It's an imaginary box I used to track the doodads, whelps, and golly what's I've come across in my travels. Once you have the idea, you can easily imagine an item collection of your own. As real as you want it to be, I see it taking shape. Anything you'd like to donate? What? What, are, what am I doing? I don't understand that. Are you supposed to give him, like, one of everything? Is that the idea? Can I help you with something? Thanks for your help earlier, little spirit. Julianne, hello! Welcome! I'm great! How are you? I hope you're doing well. Did you notice the burst of color that occurred afterwards? Thanks for your help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose it was rather dramatic. Bringing color to the island is a noble thing. This place isn't meant to be so gloomy and lifeless. I bring this up because my dear friend Toru is in need of your help. He's the walnut tree over there. Just out of reach of my color. He's got an umbrella snagged in his branches that is bothering him terribly. I'd ask you to shake the umbrella free, but because Toru is uncolored, mortals like you can't interact with him. He can't even grow walnuts in his uncolored state, poor thing. He looks so barren now. You'll need to extend the reach of my color to help him. Take this spirit lamp and place it on the colored edge of my domain to extend it to Toru. Okay. Common log cabin lamp. All right. I'm okay, my allergies are so bad right now. Just had a sneeze fit. Oh, I'm sorry. That's awful. How do I... Oops. Oh, but I have badges. Okay. All right, I did all those. Oh, no, no, no. All right, I'm gonna place it. Hmm. Throw item? No, I don't wanna throw it. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Hey, Soph. Oh my gosh, cute. Volcano. It's so cute. I can. That's adorable. It looks so good. Are you going to paint it? That's adorable. I'd probably let it dry before you paint it, though. I mean, it's up to you. 
We'll probably paint it just as it is, but let it dry a little bit. Is that all the mold, or not mold, the, the clay mold stuff? Is there more of the, that color? Okay. That looks so good, Soph. Soph has to make a, a float. Um, let's pick this up, maybe, maybe place it right by the tree. I guess. I don't know. I don't even know. But she has to make a float that's designed like one of the 50 states. And her state is Hawaii. Super fun. So currently she is making a volcano out of clay. She's doing so good. What? confused Doesn't need to be there for a minute, is that why? I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave it there and see what happens. Alright, here's a log. More! Only five more logs before I'm full. I sense a log in your bag. Oh! And we have him some pets. Delicious. Only four more logs before I'm full. Looks like there are no more spirit logs out here right now. That's all right. We have to help people at the pace they are willing to be helped. Best to relax, ease into the trip, maybe do some fishing or collect some shells. And when you come back tomorrow, I bet the ghosts will be ready to be helped some more. Okay. It's adorable. Place near colored areas to expand the spirit light. Only oh, there we go. That's what we do. Harvest. <clears throat> Cute. Now let's go chat with this bear. <clears throat> Sturdy enough to not flip inside out at the mere suggestion of the wind. Yeah. You got that cursed, um, cursed umbrella out of Toru's hair. Now he can finally stop whining about it. You have our gratitude, spirit friend. And while you're here, maybe you could find a new home for my other friend. Here you go. Golden plum tree. Okay. Plum tree. Goodness sakes. Maybe here? Let's see. Oh gosh. <clears throat> All 
All right, I don't think... I don't think there's anyone else that we can help today. This is a really cute game. I've never played it. It's super cozy. The music is so calm. It's adorable. Do I have... Okay. So that adds light. A kite stuck in that tree. I can't, can't get over there just yet. It's blocked off, but that's okay. All right. Well, this is adorable. This is a very cute game. What happens if we pick him up? Oh, replace him. Got it. All right, yeah. Give him some pets. Does he want a potato? Is that what he wants? Hold on. I thought I had some potatoes, no? Potatoes. Huh. Oh, right there, seven. Hold on. It doesn't look like what he wants, though. It looks different. I think I have what he wants. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. Decoration lamp, rustic decor. Oh. Essence. Oh my gosh, what? Can I... Hold on. Can I rotate him? 
There. Cute! Okay. Then... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. No, no, no. Does he like that? No. We'll pick that up. He loves that. Potted flower plant, lamp, cozy decor. So do each of the spirits, like the bear spirits? I wonder if they each have a preference. It's just thinking. There's just something so satisfying about building things with your own hands. Even if the final product is small, it's filled with all the hard work and care you put into it. That satisfaction is its own reward, don't you think? Oh. He'll like this, but let's try. Sure. sure, but I think I remember reading something about how decorating is important in this game. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'll have to 
I'll have to figure it out. All right, let's see. Shop a little. Um, cozy. Oh my gosh. A windbreaker. A striped scarf. Cozy cap. Sherpa fleece jacket. <laughs> Committed beard. Denim jacket. Leaf cap. Large mustache. That's cute. Look at that little sweater. That's adorable. <clears throat> All right. Super cute. I think we'll stop there. We can't help any more bear spirits. I'm not quite sure. I think that means he's hungry. Do I just put food down for him? Oh, no, no. What if I drop that for him? Will he eat it? <clears throat> Will he eat that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Shucks. Not sure what that little bubble is. What does it mean? I don't have any idea. Got some more badges. Let's do these. All right. <clears throat> so cute. All right, then. I guess we'll stop there. Um, this was so cozy. This game is so relaxing. It made me a little tired. Um, I really love the music. I think it's adorable. I love that you help the bear spirits and you're a little spirit scout. I love the artwork in this game. Um, yeah, so far I'm a huge fan of Cozy Grove. I've never played it since before today, but it's super, super cute. Very charming. But yeah, I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, I really want to thank everybody that hung out with me today. I know it was a different a different stream today but I really like it it's adorable um but yeah and then let's see um over on the community tab I posted my stream schedule for this week um so tomorrow I'll stream some Dreamlight Valley Disney Dreamlight Valley and then Wednesday will be Zelda Breath of the Wild um and Thursday will be more Dreamlight Valley. Friday is more of this game, more of Cozy Grove. And then Saturday will be Zelda again. I'm going to try to beat Zelda before Tears of the Kingdom come out. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it or not, but I'm going to give it the old try. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know the stream was different. But I, I had a lot of fun. And I really appreciate you hanging out with me. And thank you, Shay, for being a new subscriber. It means a lot. We're at 176. We're that much closer to 180. That's crazy. But I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 
and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. It's going to be 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time for me because I'm in Arizona. So right now for me, it's 4.30 p.m. Um, sure, Aiden, I will tell her. I'll let her know. I know she's um, working on her project right now, so she's a little bit busy, but I'll still pass the message along. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again. Uh, I don't know... Is there a way I'm supposed to save this game? Oh, auto save is on. Here we go. Save and return to main menu. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, this game is adorable. I already really, really like it. If you enjoyed this stream, please um, leave a like. It helps push the stream out there um, to new people. It would be a huge help. If you um, want me to try any other new cozy games, please feel free to mention it in a comment down below as soon as the stream ends. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, then I will, it's saved. I'll um, go to the main menu and end stream. Thanks again, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.